I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show mixing from start to finish. And I mean, we've got our resin mixed up. You don't mind, you're mellow. You're just here to watch. You're good. <laughs> I remember you from last year. Okay, so this is, um, this is some of the bezels. I'm gonna pull out a new one. My new thing is I love, instead of just the shiny, shiny, I love doing the lusters. So this is the blue luster that's spilled. How many colors are there in the luster? Just three, so it's okay. brand new. So really, I was like, all I need is a black and a blue. Excuse me. So those guys gave me a red too, which is nice. There's the red. No. But for me, yeah, no green, not yet. So I just kind of get it in here on the edges, you know, and just kind of do a little mix just to kind of make it my own. Work with color, I can get on the back. This one is a nice opaque color, nice and thick, and luminescent. Too. I guess if they did do a yellow, you've got black in the primaries, you could then. Like yeah. Yellow. Yeah, but why? Do you like yellow? Is no, that a color you do? Yeah, the idea of, you know, just want to Oh, sure. Come back and get it. Thanks. Having that palette. Yes. That's all. So I'm going to use something like this. So I have, I'm going to get this out of the way for now. Get all this out of the way. All right. Now, let me get this a little bit organized, get some stuff out of the way. Last year, we ended up with stickiness everywhere by the end of the day. <laughs> all right, so the template is here. So I have beautiful foils in the line. That's not a good example of it. But I have beautiful foils. I like putting the foils in the background. Oh, these that's are awesome. Oh, I know. Yeah. This is one of my pieces that's my work. So I have foil in the back with a little bit of bronze. This is all the luster that I have around here. And then I also use it on the side of the bezel too. Mm -hmm. There's a luster on the back. So this is the luster I put a little bit here. And I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually put a blue with my template. One, but this one is the right one. Okay, so let me take the back of this. Our table's a little bit sticky. <laughs> and our pen is, I'll do a pencil, thank you. Is it sticky? I don't think so. Things get a little sticky by the end. Okay, so with the template, I'm just going to trace it out, get this cut. that they went, um... It's my product. I oh, invented it. <laughs> in 2007. Ice Resin is mine. And I incorporated, I did this product. Now it's right, and I sold it to Rachel. So I'm Susan Leonard Casmer. I'm in the jewelry industry, pretty, pretty heavy in the jewelry industry. So for me, I developed Ice Resin because I wanted a non-toxic jeweler's grip. Because I was doing museum exhibits, you know, like I was mentioning. Yeah, so I, I wanted, and when I was doing jewelry, I was like, you spend you spend a lot of time repairing jewelry if you're a jewelry designer and I was like the last thing I want to do is somebody comes to me and their great grandmother's photo is in there or you know information so I put together I put together like a, a waterproof non-toxic I and mean, we have to put all the hazards up there it's as toxic as um, same VOC as acrylic paint so this was my product and I had it in the jewelry industry for, oh my gosh, we did so well with it. And then I had a lot of changes. Hi, I had a lot of changes. So I was like, I'm kind of done. I need to, you know, not own this product, but I still love it. So I'm really grateful to be able to still have ice resin in my life. I do love it. So that's kind of cool. Sometimes if I don't have a template, I just... So I think Ranger, you know, I like resin. I like um, foils. So I just do what I like doing. And um, these guys put in more product for me. So really, I don't know this world as well as I know jewelry. Like what I know is jewelry, you know. And what I know is this product on how I love it. 
So I'm just ripping this because what I want to do, remember this is that luster? I'm going to put the end of this with some luster on it. So when I taught my class yesterday, I really was able to show people like what's appropriate. I wrote a book for the jewelry industry for the Goldsmith Society called Making Connections. And it's all appropriate ways to use metal in, like if you're a quilter, or if you're a, you know, in any type of a field, it's where, because there's so many rules and judgments for metal people, you know? So if, you, if somebody does a beautiful piece and they stick metal in there the wrong way, as a, as a silversmith or a metal person, you're like, oh, you know, like, like, you know, just like in any field. So, so I wrote a, I wrote a book. It was for my industry and for the jewelry industry, and it was on connections. So it, it did really well. It was self-published because during that time, jewelers didn't have your, you wouldn't have your. Tim McRae is our guy, so you wouldn't have your book published because they always wanted to make it simple, you know. So, oops, I've got my lasta on the whole piece. Yeah, so anyway, I've been in the industry, not this industry, but I've been in the industry, and actually, in fact, one of the things that was kind of exciting this year is I was invited, uh, I'm, I just did pieces, I was invited, um, it's to Milan Fashion Week. So I did pieces with um, Italian Vogue accessories, and the creative director of Vanity Fair in Italy. So that's kind of my background. But I love, I love kind of being on the retail side of things too. And I'm stuck to ice resin. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's your, that's your baby. That's my baby. It's yeah. true. It's my baby. So, okay. So that's going to be my piece I'm doing. I put the sealant on here because if I, if you want your piece to look exactly like this, you put a sealant on. If, if I don't put a sealant on, it bleeds through and it changes and alters my paper and makes it transparent. Now, I already mixed this resin earlier. It's, two, it's one to one. This is the resin and this is the hardener. And how long can it stay? About an hour. Yeah, especially when it's real hot you know, and dry here. It dries pretty quick. This is the plunger. So with the plunger, you can actually just put in a little bit if you wanted to. And what is that? This is actually resin, the same thing, ah, it's a plunger. Okay. So it's measured for you, and the top, you, you can't put it on the wrong way. I think that's brilliant. I sell so much of that. It was so expensive, to, to because this is, originally I came out with this. It has the cups and the sticks and everything in there. And everyone kept begging me for these. And for me, I had to buy a lot of resin, and think about how little it goes into all these. Uh -huh. I, think I had to buy like 10,000 units, the first time and I was like, I don't even know if I'm gonna sell this, you know. <laughs> so I was like, oh, it was it was expensive. I mean I kinda like it that it's not my problem anymore. Now yeah, Ranger has yeah. to do it, you know. Okay. So I keep forgetting, did you glue both sides? I did. Okay. Because you don't want it to change. Right? right. And then you can have like now I'm thinking since there's so much blue in there I need a little bit of sparkles. So are you thinking about, do you like, are you thinking about maybe doing some teaching or things like that? Or do you do teaching? Um, no, I have my own company that's um, stamps. Oh, nice. And so I'm always looking for ways. Okay. What so, can I stamp on oh, next? Oh, yeah. What 